welcome back to the Southern Snack for life. It's too short to be serious. I want to give a big shout out to Scrimp Shack. If y'all don't know this chain, y'all need to check it out. Very enjoyable fried seed food. Great sides. Does take a little longer for them to cook than, than as compared to your usual uh, fast casual type of chain. But every time I go, I enjoy it. I haven't gone a lot and I... I regretfully say that because it's been a while since I've been. But every time I go, I've gotten the big old fish sandwich, the big chicken sandwich, and they do some new items every now and then. And that's why we're here doing this is, um, you know, they had advertised it. I had never followed them on Instagram for some reason. I had tagged them in posts. But then I was like, you know, I, I, I had seen advertisements and everything. Let me hit that follow button because they had followed me. And so I followed them. And then they posted and I commented on it and said, I got to get around to reviewing this. And I kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. They messaged me and said, hey, you know, we'd love to support you and, uh, you know, be part of this. So they contacted my local uh, location in Suffolk, Virginia, off of Main Street. And they were very friendly. The manager, friendly. I, I think the uh, cashier that he may not have known what was going on. Uh, I'm not good at explaining things so I just said hey you know could I talk to the manager and got straight very nice people very generous and uh, we got what we needed to get here so they have a lot of options I know I'm going on and on and on this could be a seven minute video and you know that that hurts me and you but is what it is I have to tell you about everything I want to inform you right so what do they got they got a Nashville hot chicken slash fish sandwich option. They have a spicy fish option alongside their ghost pepper ranch option. So you can get the ghost pepper ranch on the chicken sandwich, on the fish sandwich, or you could get spicy fish or shrimp. And I just did fish because I want to do fish. I want to focus on one thing. You could do the shrimp and I got the ghost pepper ranch on the side and the Nashville hot ranch, uh, Nashville hot sauce on the side too. Now keep in mind that they do charge 75 cents for Nashville hot sauce. I, I stared down the register at he, as he typed everything up uh, just to keep mental notes and just to be informative, right? Even though I did get this for free, I just want to let you know. Uh, the fish spice will cost about nine dollars i don't know if that's with or without a side he asked me if i wanted a side i said no no thank you this is plenty i try and keep a fixed diet here and i'll probably sh share these if anyone wants to eat them but how are we gonna break this down first we try the fish bites how spicy are they then with the sauce so we're gonna go ahead and pose for the thumbnail and then we'll jump into this so there's the sauces. This is great. I, I didn't know I could get this together so well. I'm confident I took a very good picture. I think I did. Who knows? But there, all their food comes in the takeout bags, rather you sit in or out. So I think. I can't remember. That's how I remember when I ate there. It either came in a takeout box or it came in like a little tray thing. You know, the tray with the picnic basket kind of sheet thing. Something like that. Anyways, y'all want to know about how this tastes, I'm going to break it down. If you'll subscribe, and like, comment, and share this video, I'd love it. Here we go. One of the great things about it is your food always comes out hot. Always. That's one of their advantages. It's just fresh food. As for the spice, it's got a good kick. Not one that will overly kill you. But one that lingers. I'm burning my tongue because I'm eating too soon. It's a good thing I didn't have them, have them let me sit down and eat there because... I was gonna be sitting there for a while after that. But anyways, after, you know, eating that. That's pretty good. I like the flavor. 
a little salty, but I do like how hot it is. It, it It's hot in two ways. A, it's fresh. B, it's spicy. So overall, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 just to give a little bit of wiggle room for what these sauces could do to you. See what, where we could go with the sauces. And then uh, let, let's figure that out. Dipping it in. Dipping it in. That is the ghost pepper ranch. Mmm. Smells good. Blowing. Hoping that it cools my food down a little bit. And the ranch has a nice, zesty flavor. As for the heat, takes it up a notch. Takes it up a good notch. It's not, uh, again, every time I eat ghost pepper ranch, it doesn't really annihilate your taste buds. Which, again, is it's not the worst thing to experience, to have that not be so hot. The ranch is there for a reason. It keeps the ghost pepper in check. While this does ramp up the heat a bit more, it doesn't let it get too excessive. That's quite flavorful. I would say that boosts my experience up to a nine. So the nuggets with, or the bites with ghost pepper ranch, I give it a nine. I think that's really good. I'm just thinking with Nashville hot, we're gonna hit a whole new level. I think it's gonna be hotter, even hotter. Dipping, lifting, and blowing. And then we're gonna try. Probably should start with blowing, dipping, lifting, and then trying. Because it kind of blows the sauce too. Yes. See, I've gotten so used to spices, it doesn't really choke me up. Like, I eat so much spicy on a, a weekly basis. I just down it and just go down. Would this choke an average person up? It could. It really could. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Definitely the best flavor I've gotten out of the three things I've tried. Uh, the best amount of heat. I'm telling you. I, I'm not too surprised about that. It's a sweet and savory. It's not too vinegary. Usually when I think about Nashville hot, I kind of picture somewhat of a spicier buffalo. But this definitely has a sweet aspect to it. Kind of like a molasses sweet. It's very good. Very, very good. Now the three things I did today, I prefer that. So Nashville hot, 10 out of 10. Ghost Pepper Ranch goes with a 9 out of 10. Fish bites alone, still really good. A little salty, I would say eight out of 10. But when you dump, dunk it in either sauce, that salt profile kind of gets narrowed down a little bit. It gets it dwarfs down a little bit because of the sauces. So I just wanted to so showcase every option you have. You can get this on a sandwich. You can get them to the side of the, the fish bites. I think this is the perfect scenario, if you ask me. I think the whole process of doing what I did worked out so yeah nine minute video but more than worth the watch hopefully you enjoyed it and i will see y'all around yeah